Okay, in, in this video I'm going to go through the process of uh, downloading the GPS data from my handheld reco data recorder and, um, and bringing that data back into FGIS. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug the USB cable into my data recorder. It's going to bring up ActiveSync, hit uh, cancel to uh, get it to connect as a guest. Okay, so which I've already done. So I'm going to hit the explore button at this point. I'm going to go to my solo folder. And inside there we'll see the export folder and we'll see the Empire GPS. And if you want to you can open it up and you can just verify that there are files in there. So at this point I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit copy and then I'm going to hit the folders button on my um, toolbar and I'm going to navigate to the my documents folder on my desktop computer I'm going to go to GPS and GIS data I'll open up the Empire folder and I'm just going to right click and I'm going to paste inside of here and this will be my, uh, my GPS data from the Empire project Okay, now you can see that I've opened up FGIS to the project we were using before and I want to add in my GPS data. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just hit the add layer button. I'm going to open up the Empire folder, open up the Empire GPS folder. I'm going to uh, click on the first layer, hold down the shift button, click on the last one, that'll select all the different layers and then hit open. It will add all of these to the map and you can see right here that, um, that it put them on the screen. Now the um, I'm going to make this a little bit wider. Okay, now if I want to zoom to the uh, to the wetland that I've mapped, I can select it. I can hit. I can right click and zoom the layer, and it'll show me that particular polygon. Now, I can um, to change the symbology. I can uh, I can double click on that, and uh, you know I can go in here and change the color, um, that kind of thing. Uh, you can also go to layer, and we can make it the transparency. We can make it you know. Uh, so that you can see through it, that kind of thing. Um, uh, maybe the fence that we've got here, I can zoom to that layer. Maybe we want to adjust that, double click on it. Instead of the um, the solid line right here, you could put a, you know, a dashed line and you could adjust the width of it, you know, any way you wanted and uh, you know, change the color, that kind of thing. A lot of different things you can do to um, make things stand out a little bit a little bit more. Now one thing that a lot of people do is they'll make their image transparent so that it will show through. Uh, I've got on this particular project I got the topo behind it. If you want to be able to see the contour lines through the um, uh, through the aerial all you gotta do is come down here uh, double click on the aerial go to the layer tab on the transparency. Let's go down to about 70% and let's see what that see what we get there and um, move this window out of the way and yeah you can see that you can start seeing still see the photo but you can see some contour lines underneath uh, so you can see the effect right there uh, it's a neat little uh, a neat little thing you can do making a map okay so this is just the process of bringing data back over into um, um, into FGIS from uh, from the GPS and just seeing how um, how you can manipulate those layers and add them in